guys, and welcome to another segment of the Damien Oliver Show. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for listening. And per usual, thank you for sharing. It's always a pleasure when I'm able to get together and talk to you guys and just, you know, do a check in just to see how we're doing and just to make sure that we are uh, living in um, our present moment and handling the things that are important for us to be able to navigate each and every day. So thank you for being patient. Thank you for your loyalty and thank you for just being a friend, as I always said. Uh, But yes, from the last time we spoke, we did talk about, you know, we'll have the next episode uh, more centered around time and how time plays an important role in life and just, um, just navigating in general, right? So there's different facets of time and, um, you know, time sometimes just doesn't always work in our favor. And because of that, it has its own level of obstacles that we somehow have to figure out how to navigate through and how to fit life within um, some for us, some is like eight hours, some is, uh, you know, less than that but we do have 24 hours but when we take out the time that we spend like sleeping or working we really have just a few hours for our personal gain and just how we're able to navigate be innovative and also disrupt normal flow right so let's talk about what are some of the drawbacks uh with time because one drawback of time is just a relentless march forward. You know, we have to just move forward. And it often leaves us feeling nostalgic for moments that have passed and we're unable to reclaim. Um, because when you're in a space where things are just moving so rapidly and, you know, you're being pulled in different different places or, you know, different things require... Um, your energy requires your time required you know just something from just you know the few hours that you have it can be a lot and um, we can't always reclaim those times right but what we can do is just try to figure out a way where we're able to find some type of balance and leverage um, where time is concerned, especially when we're pressed for time. And, you know, like Mother's Day is coming up and shout out to all those mothers or parents who are listening. Um, You know, shout out to you for just um, being who you are. And I hope that for this Sunday, you will definitely be treated as royalty that you deserve to be treated as royalty because you are such. And um, yeah. So just shout out to you, shout out to, uh, you know, everyone who act in the capacity of um, being a mom, whether or not you're a biological mom or not, right? Shout out. But going back into what I'm saying is that, yes, when you're being pulled into different areas, you know, you have to try to reclaim just time for yourself and just time for you to be able to, you know, do things that are necessary for you outside of just the normal routine team that you have with work or taking care of the family or kids so that you can somehow pour into yourself and somehow be able to have you know what you need um, to give back right so we can't just always be given and you know people are just constantly taking without us feeling like we have something for ourselves how can we take control of time right how can we take control of time Take control of time involves managing it effectively and making conscious choices about how to spend uh, spend time. Um, we got to be strategic. So um, some strategy could include setting goals, prioritizing tasks, using time management techniques, um, just so that we're able to stay on track. And you got to, you know, we really have to kind of map out um and be more intentional in in things Um, because there's like a million gazillion things that are happening that requires some piece of you you know some piece of you where you're being pulled in different directions um, 
opposed to where you're trying to go. So we have to set some boundaries and we have to minimize distraction and practice mindfulness to stay focused um, on the present moment, right? So, you know, know when you, you know when to say no and know when to say, I cannot do this. Can I take a rain check? Um, and, you know, if people feel uh, offended by you wanting to take time for you, then, you know, you really don't owe them anything. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, we have to do what's best for us in any given situation. So time managing is important. Uh, setting boundaries is important. Being mindful, which we spoke about before, is also essential. Um, but one important thing is that the, the good thing about time is that um, time is something that gives us the ability to heal wounds to provide opportunities for growth and it offers endless possibility for new experiences and memories so while we want to set boundaries while we want to be mindful you know we also want to be able to create the space and time where we're you know we're healing um we're tapping into possibilities and new experiences and memories but at the core of this, you also want to make sure that you are living within the space and the ability for you to function and function at high frequency and not at the place where you're running on E or just trying to just be everywhere all at once because you cannot do that. It's not feasible um, for that because you're going to constantly run yourself down and um, your energy is going to be depleted, right? Right. Um, so secure your energy, make a plan, time manage, you know, setting tasks, setting expectations. All these things are important in, in order for you to be able to have a good grasp on time and time management. Because if not, if we don't do these things, then what we do is that we become sucked into just this thing called life where, you know, work takes priority um, you know, family takes priority, um, you know, maybe, you know, relationships take priority, and then you lose yourself in the mix. So it's important to make sure that you are putting yourself somewhere high on that need of um, making sure that you're okay, and just making sure that you feel fulfilled in the time and spaces and the things that you are committing to. Um, and the things that you're giving your energy and your time to, it needs to be rewarding. It needs to feel as if you're getting something out of it also, not just the constant giving, giving, giving of time. So tap into your creativity, tap into your innovation and, you know, take on things that are going to uplift you, that are going to disrupt, um, you know, the flow of just how things are and be able to make you better um, and just to be able to put you forward in that so that others around you can also feel that energy and be able to relate and emulate um, what you're doing because there's always someone that's watching there's always someone that's observing there's always someone that's listening that somehow the way in which you move will impact them, you know, whether directly or indirectly. And I think when you can be an example for people um, or spectators or just, you know, people around you, family, whoever those are, I think it's highly impactful. And that's how you penetrate the world. That's how you bring around change and innovation, right? And this is the quintessential thing that we as human beings are here for to make sure that we're you know motivating each other to make sure that we're pouring into each other not just taking away from from each other right but we're pouring into each other in a positive way and we see the positive result so until next time thank you for listening to the damian oliver show and per usual please like and share and hopefully this was something that brings some type of um thought-provoking, um, you know, 
for you and then you're able to somehow relate. So thank you for listening. Until next time, it's the Damien Oliver Show. Um, Hopefully the next time that we speak, uh, we'll be able to uh, talk to, you know, have a few people wanted to, you know, kind of get on the show and to talk a little bit. So um, we'll definitely get into those interviews and we'll give you updates at some point. Um, But yeah, stay tuned. It's the Damien Oliver Show. Thank you for listening. Thank you for being a friend. And until next time, have a great day. Shout out again to all those mothers who are celebrating Mother's Day this weekend.